Hello, this is Domenico with Easynomics, and we're going to work on a paper three type question utilizing the production possibilities curve. This will be part of my um, playlist, with the first unit being an introduction to the circular flow model, along with explanations of the production possibilities curve in regards to constant opportunity cost versus increasing opportunity costs. So let's take a look at this question. So here we have an IB type question and in part B of this question says using the data in table one which we see here plot and label the production possibilities curve we'll label it PPC1 for Russia's production of wheat and barley which refers to the example that we used in our explanation of constant versus increasing opportunity costs those videos will be linked below so here we have wheat production millions of metrics of tons and combinations of production. So at point A, we're allocating all of our resources to the production of wheat. Nothing's being allocated towards barley. And so we get a full productive output of 84 million tons versus zero uh, million metric tons of barley and so on. So here we have all of these possible combinations of production. And we know with the PPC curve, we assume that we're fully employing all of our land, labor, and capital resources that we're being productively, productively efficient with those resources, that we have fixed technology, a fixed quantity of resources, and a fixed quality of resources. So here it asks us um, to plot and label this. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll use a blue color here. And one easy thing that you can do is look at the initial uh, maximum outputs when we allocate all of our resources to production of one of these goods. Now I'm gonna, I need to label my graph. So this will be on the x-axis. This will be quantity of wheat produced. And over here on the y-axis, I'll put Q quantity of barley. All right. So it's clear to the um, to the evaluator. So point A, all of our resources allocated towards wheat production. So it's going to be 84. Now we have these spaces here, which we have to be conscious of what's the value of each one. Here it goes from 80 to 90 to 100. So here we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Or a space of 10 divided by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 10 divided by 5. Each one is worth 2. So 84 is right here. So I'll mark that point. That'll be my point A. Then we have uh, all of our resources allocated towards barley production. It's 66 million metric tons. Here's 60, 62, 64, 60. Six is right over here. And it appears since I can easily transfer my resources from wheat to barley production, it's likely that this is constant opportunity costs but um, we're not sure. So I'll eventually have to calculate the marginal change. So I can either go ahead and plot each of these points or try drawing a straight line initially and see if it matches all of those points. And I'll just go ahead and draw the line and see if it does match all of these points. So that would be assuming constant opportunity costs. This is point A over here, which I'm gonna label. And this curve is the P PC curve number one. So I've labeled that. Over here is point G. And then we're going to look at all the combinations. Point B is 70. So 70 is right here. And 11. So that looks correct. That's point B. Then we have point C at 56. So it's 50, 2, 4, 6 going up to about this. And it should be about 22, so that looks accurate as well. Point C. Point D is 42. 42 is over here and up to 33 units of barley, which also looks accurate. So it does look like it's constant opportunity costs. We'll label that point D. Point E is 28 million. 2, 4, 6, 8 going up. 28 and 44 uh, million metric tons of barley. That also looks accurate. When we look at the data, 2844.e. 
And then last is uh, point F, 14, 10 to 14 going up, 14 and 55, that looks about accurate. This is point F. So I've labeled all these points, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, along a straight line. So in theory, it should be constant opportunity costs for the production of wheat and barley in Russia in this case. So we have completed this. Using the data, plot and label the PPC curve. We have done that with a fully labeled graph. So that question is done. Now let's move on to question C. In table one, complete the marginal change columns for wheat and barley production. So we want to look at what's the value of the change here. 84 minus 70 is 14 units. And then 70 minus 56 is again 14 units. 56 minus 42 is 14 units. 42 minus 28 is 14 units. 28 minus 14, 14 units. 14 minus 0, 14. So it's constant here. Constant rate of production. And then here we go from 0 to 11. That is a change of 11. So here we're going down by 14, minus 14, minus 14, minus 14, minus 14, et cetera. And here we're going up by 11. 22 minus 11 is 11. 33 minus 22 is 11. 44 minus 33 is 11. 55 minus 44 is 11. And 66 minus 55 is 11. So here we definitely have uh, quantitative proof that this is a constant opportunity cost productions curve. So we've done this. We've answered this question. We've uh, done the calculations. There we go. So we can move on to question D. In reference to the marginal change data, calculating table one, state whether the PPC1 curve illustrates constant or increasing opportunity costs and why. So we can state that the PPC curve, PPC number one curve, illustrates constant opportunity costs. Because as Russia, in this case, allocates resources away from wheat production, toward barley, production, the opportunity cost is constant, right? Meaning that resources, you can say, demonstrate our knowledge, it includes land, labor, capital, entrepreneurship. We'll just say land, labor, capital for now. Um, meaning that resources can be easily transferred from the production of wheat to barley and vice versa, and vice versa, okay? And we can also wanna, you know, use the data to prove this. So here we provide an explanation. Since I'm running out of space, I would also wanna include, you know, for example, um, there is a, you know, I'll put, for example, as we go from point a to B to C, etc. 
to G, um, there is a loss of 14 million metric tons of wheat I'm sorry, 14, there's a loss of 14 million tons of wheat uh, to produce an additional 11 million tons of barley. So every, ta every time we reduce production by 14 million tons of wheat, we gain an 11, 11 million tons of barley production, which is stable throughout. So there's a ratio of 14 to 11 that does not change. There is the ratio of production that is constant. Ratio of 14 to 11 is constant, does not change. Again, meaning that we can easily transfer resources, land, labor, capital from point A to point B, etc. All right. So that's um, you know a quick overview of the application of the PPC, perhaps on a, an exam. All right, you're going from point A to point B, you're reallocating. And we see that the opportunity cost is stable and constant because the resources easily transfer. And that's it. So there'll be another video where we'll take a look at a model illustrating um, increasing opportunity costs. If you have any questions, don't, for, uh, don't forget to comment those questions below and don't forget to subscribe and to like. Thank you so much.